Okay, level 2 physics, we're out here today looking at vectors for change. And that's really just another way of saying vector subtraction. A couple of things I hope you remember from maths class. Number one is that subtraction is just adding on a negative. In other words, it's exactly the same to say 5 minus 2 as it is to say 5 plus negative 2. Second thing is that a negative vector is just a reversal of direction. In the same way that a positive number goes up the number line and a negative number goes down the number line, with a vector, if it's negative, we can just reverse the direction. So 5 to the right is the same as negative 5 to the left. Those are two key things that we've got to know. And that's going to let us just turn vector subtraction into vector addition of a round the other way vector. Okay, so we're going to have a look at an example of this together. We're going to do 5 minus 3. Just like that. And most of you will be saying 5 minus 3 is 2, but of course you're wrong because these are not in the same direction. One of them is off at right angles to the other. And so we know that we've got to reverse one of these vectors to turn it into an addition. And it's really important that we get the right one, the 5 plus negative 3. It's not negative 5 plus 3. It's 5 plus negative 3. So we're going to reverse the direction of the vector that's subtracted. That's the 3. That's the first step. And now you can see we've turned it into a, an addition problem, a very familiar looking addition problem. 5 plus 3. Let's join those together and see what we get. Two vectors joined together, nose to tail, and we're going to draw the resultant vector from the tail of the first one up to the nose of the last one. And it gets a double arrow because it's the resultant. We're going to calculate the size and the direction. Calculator. And so we can use Pythagoras to find the square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared, the two shorter sides, and that gives us the longer side of 5.8 than one of the short sides, and the angle, anti-tan of 3 over 5, 31 degrees. I'll give you an example to work on. Classic example, car goes around a corner. Now the car, as you can see, comes into the corner with an initial velocity of 12 meters per second, goes around the corner and leaves the corner with a final velocity of 12 meters per second. Change in velocity zero, I hear you saying, but not so, because we've gone around a corner, and we know that vectors have a size and a direction. So although the size of the vector has stayed the same, the direction has definitely changed, and that means we should be able to calculate a change in velocity. Change. That's when we use vector subtraction. Look, change in velocity is the final velocity. Take off the initial velocity. I want you to pause the video, have a crack at that. Go on, pause it.
Okay, so hopefully you got something like this. First step, final minus initial, 12 down, minus 12 to the right. Turn that second one the other way around and change it to a plus. 12 plus 12 to the left. Draw them nose to tail and draw on the resultant from the start of the first one to the end of the last one, like that. Size of the resultant using Pythagoras, the square root of 12 squared plus 12 squared, should have got about 17. And the angle, I hope you can spot an isosceles triangle when one jumps out and bites you on the nose, because that's one right there. It's going to have each angle 45 degrees. Ninety. Two angles the same, must be 45. Otherwise you can use 10. 